I pose that eternal question. What came first? The pepper or the seed? The purposes of a gardener, it would be the seed. So today I'm going to discuss growing pepper plants from seed. Right here, I have seeds that I've saved from a white ghost chili. Deadly, deadly, deadly chili. Make sure when extracting your seeds to wear gloves and wash your hands before you touch your eyes or any other tender part of your anatomy. Otherwise you'll be sorry. With sweet peppers, it's not so important. Basically, we scrape the seeds out of the peppers when the peppers are at the full ripe stage. Most peppers ripen somewhere between red and brown. It depends on the variety. But you need to know what color your pepper ripens at before you can take the seeds out. Once it hits that stage, and even when it begins to soften just a little bit, dehydrating, that's really a good stage to take seeds out of the peppers. The peppers are still good to eat, and so it's a really great fruit for that purpose. Take seeds, scrape them out gently. Lay them out on something so they can dry in the air. I often let them have at least a week laying around in the air before I try to put them away anywhere. I often use uh, paper containers and desiccant in the containers where I store these. Then when you go to plant the peppers, I typically use six packs. I like these because they are compact. I can get six plants going in a small space uh, so I don't use as much soil. It takes about two weeks, sometimes even up to three weeks, to get a pepper seed to germinate. I believe the fastest time I have ever seen is about seven days, depending on the variety. So anywhere between one and three weeks, usually two, to get the seed up. They require some heat, and so if you're starting in cold weather, you're going to want to use some kind of bottom heater cable or um, put them in a place where it's at least 70, 72 degrees uh, is what it takes to get the pepper seeds to come out of the ground properly. Otherwise, they take forever to germinate. Now we just basically put one seed in each hole. I don't recommend putting more than two. If you're worried about the seed being old, try a couple of seeds so you get one in each spot. So in a few weeks, you're going to get something that looks about like that. Peppers are going to come up. They're going to begin to grow. These here have been probably about four weeks I suspect from the time I sowed them um, they have uh, their true leaves are beginning to develop about six to eight weeks your peppers will probably look something more like this these are still um, fairly small uh, there's a little bit of root coming out of the bottom of the container and so no need to worry about transplanting them quite yet at about the eight to nine week stage you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Now these are actually getting a little bit overgrown. I typically will transplant before we start to see flowers on the plants. The peppers are tolerant and they'll be fine if you let them go this far. In the six pack you can see looking at the bottom that we do have a lot of roots coming out. Uh, if we pull one of these guys out of here you see that the root ball is pretty well meshed. It's not horribly root bound. You see, it's, it shouldn't look like a bushel basket underneath there. You can see that the uh, roots are still pretty loose. They're not thoroughly meshed around the bottom. This is, this is good. You don't want them all root bound. So, your peppers can be transplanted to the garden from the six pack. On the other hand, if you're going to hold them a little bit longer, like these right here, I'm using a 3 inch pot or say a 4 inch pot, either way works just fine to grow the pepper up much larger. Sometimes they'll even begin fruiting in these containers. That's possible. Peppers will fruit pretty well inside of a gallon pot or a 5 gallon pot. You get a few fruit off of them even in a 3 inch pot. To get good growth off of them you're going to need to use fertilizer in the containers. Typically when I'm growing the peppers inside the pots, I don't usually use organic fertilizers because it can get really, really messy. Now fish emulsion and seaweed extract do work pretty well for growing peppers in pots. Otherwise, I will usually use a time-release fertilizer like this Nutricoat right here. Uh, this stuff releases at a 
steady rate it keeps the plants growing really nice if you don't feed your peppers in pots they're going to start getting yellow and they really won't go anywhere so you're going to need to feed whatever you like to use once i'm ready to put the peppers out in the field i will usually switch to some sort of an organic this one right here is made mostly out of seaweed and dried chicken manure pellets now you can use all sorts of different things fish again works really good there's a lot of different organic fertilizers out there and even um, you know waste from your kitchen sometimes works coffee grounds and things like this but um, I really like to use this one this is a great fertilizer they make it here in Hawaii and so it's just a uh, dry organic crumble so as I mentioned um, peppers will grow pretty good in containers right here we have a uh, Hawaiian chili pepper um, it's in a uh, about a 20 gallon tree tub over here on top of my nursery table. Uh, it's pretty much in full fruit. It's a kind of a Tabasco sort of a chili. Very hot, very popular here in Hawaii. You can see that it's just loaded with fruit inside this bucket. So you don't actually need to have a uh, open garden space in order to grow peppers. They're flexible. Peppers work pretty well as ornamentals right here. And we're in my uh, ornamental landscape out front of the house uh, and you can see that I've got uh, anchos, ancho chilies growing with parsley in between the uh, ornamental plants. This works out just fine. You don't necessarily have to grow your chilies in a vegetable garden. You know, here in the main garden I've got peppers in all stages of development. Right here is a row of peppers that I just put in last week over here I've got some jalapenos that went in about three weeks ago looking this way about a month back I transplanted some habanero over here I've got some Hungarian paprika peppers since the habanero is a tropical chili from the Caribbean and Cuba they do really well here in Hawaii you can see that there's a lot of bud action and flowers coming on these. Older but not liking me as much, we have the Yolo Wonder Bell. Uh, the bell doesn't seem to thrive as much here, but it will grow. We have fruit on these. Further down the row, I've got poblanos and pasilla, all from uh, central Mexico and coastal Mexico. These also seem to just love Hawaii. Uh, they're making a lot of fruit, flowering up well. And so the variety of pepper you grow in the area you live makes a lot of difference as far as what kind of success you get. You can see the little pasilla pods are starting to form on these. Pasillas are kind of tall, rangy looking pepper plants. Um, they need to be fed. If you don't feed your chilies, uh, you're going to end up with poor yields. So there you have it for now. What came first? The pepper or the seed? Well, it was the seed. And now we're getting back around again to the pepper. Now I'm going to continue this later on in the summer as I start to harvest all of this. We'll go through and display the rest of the different varieties I'm growing, how they performed here in the tropical environment. And uh, then we'll go through the extraction and saving of the seeds. So. Thanks a lot for watching and happy gardening.